Now today we are going to discuss about the floaters, you know. So the floaters are the small shapes that some people see floating in their uh, field of vision, you know. So uh, they can be different shapes and sizes and they may look like uh, the number one, uh, tiny black dots, uh, small uh, shadowy dots, uh, larger uh, cloud-like uh, spots and uh, long narrow stands, you know. So you may have many small photos in your field of vision, or just one or two larger ones, you know. So the most photos are small and quickly move out of your field um, uh, field of vision, you know. The floaters are often most uh, noticeable when you are looking at a light colored uh, background, uh, such as white wall or clear sky, you know. The floaters sometimes occur without a person uh, noticing them. So this is uh, because the brain constantly adopts uh, to changes in vision and learns to uh, ignore floaters so they don't affect vision. You know? So floaters are usually harmless and don't significantly affect your vision. However, it's important that uh, you have your eyes checked by an optician uh, just to find out any, uh, any underlying cause, you know. So the larger floaters can distracting, uh, sometimes can be distracting and uh, um, uh, may make activities involving uh, high levels of concentration, uh, you know, so such as uh, reading or driving, you know, they can make these things difficult, you know. So floaters are small pieces of uh, debris uh, that float in the eye, in, uh, eyes vitreous uh, humor, you know. So, vitreous humor is a clear jelly-like substance that fills the space uh, in the middle of the eyeball. So, the derby uh, casts shadows uh, on the retina. Uh, so, if you have floaters, uh, it's uh, these shadows you will see, you know. Now, the floaters can occur uh, as your eyes change uh, with age, you know. So, in most cases, uh, they don't cause significant problems and uh, don't require treatment. So in rare cases, floaters may be sign of a retinal tear or the retinal detachment. You know. So where the retina starts to pull away from the blood vessels uh, that supply the, it with the oxygen and uh, nutrients, you know. So the floaters can be prevented because the um, so it cannot uh, the the floaters cannot be prevented because uh, and they are part of the natural aging process, you know. You should, should visit your option immediately if you notice an increase or sudden change in your floaters, you know. So, particularly if you notice white flashes and uh, some uh, loss of vision, you know. So, your optician may refer you to an ophthalmologist, which is an eye specialist doctor, you know, so who can check your retina for tears or any kind of a, uh, retinal detachment, you know. So, even though floaters are usually harmless and uh, don't significantly affect uh, your VN, uh, but uh, uh, it's important that uh, you have your eyes checked uh, once or twice in a year, especially with, uh, when you are over 50, you know. Now, in most cases, floaters uh, don't cause any major problems, uh, problems and uh, don't require any treatment, you know. Uh, now, the eye drops uh, are similar types of medication, uh, won't uh, make floaters disappear. So, after a while, your brain learns to ignore floaters and uh, you may not notice them, you know. Uh, so, if uh, uh, your floaters don't improve over the time or if they significantly affect your vision, you know, so, uh, uh, vitrectomy may be recommended. So, this is a surgical procedure uh, uh, to remove the um, uh, vitreous humor, you know, so in your eye along with any floating turbies, you know, and uh, replace it with the uh, normal uh, uh, saline solution, you know. So, if your, reti uh, if your retina uh, has become detached, you know, a surgery is needed uh, and uh, without surgery, a total loss of vision is almost uh, certain, you know. And in 90% uh, of the cases, only one operation is needed uh, to reattach the retina, you know. Now, these days, you know, some clinics are uh, now offering treatment where a laser is aimed uh, at floaters to uh, break them up uh, and break them uh, and remove them towards the edge of the, uh, your field view, you know. So, it's thought uh, this may be simpler and uh, safer alternative uh, uh, to the surgery, you know. So, however, there hasn't been uh, much in-depth research uh, into the treatment, you know. Uh, so, uh, I think the best thing is uh, you should uh, consult your uh, uh, eye specialist doctor, you know, uh, to get further expert advice on uh, uh, this procedure, you know. And if you decide to go uh, for this procedure, you know, so uh, just make sure that you know all the uh, benefits and risks uh, associated with this laser surgery, you know.